shining the birds are singing and I got my Timmy's it's morning time and it's gonna be a good day we are in somewhere in Newfoundland Whitbourne Newfoundland and we're going to be going to Mount Pearl and what's the last one called again I always forget he's over Harbor Grace Newfoundland and then from there we're going back to the ferry we're going on another ferry ride because we have to because we're on an island and then we're going back to the mainland and then I think I have a reload up in northeast New Brunswick but uh, that'll be happening on Monday so we got some time to get back yet but we shouldn't waste any of it just in case something happens so let's get going Close to Harbor Grace. There's a steamship in the water over there. I didn't know we still used those. Oh, I see an iceberg. An iceberg floating over there. I hope I get to show you some icebergs. I have a feeling I won't get to the coast to show you that. But uh, apparently the icebergs are floating past Harbor Grace right now. I mean, past St. John's. That's pretty cool, eh? out of my way midland you're starting to bother me with your meandering i would prefer to do closer to the speed limit thank you very much all right so this is harbor grace newfoundland harbor grace the graceful harbor graceful it is harbor grace Purple house, eh? All right, purple it is. I've been here before. What? That was staring at me. Why do people stare? It makes me nervous. Is there something wrong with my truck? Probably wondering, what's this Manitoban guy doing over here? Another purple house. That one's almost pink. That's just, no, that's purple. Alright, purple. Alright. Okay. Purple. Very purple town. What else do they got here? Wonder how old this town is. I think it's pretty old because it's right on the east coast of uh, Newfoundland. So this is probably one of the first settlements in, uh, in North America or in Canada. This would be the first piece of land that uh, the British would have hit when they came over the ocean. If they would have come this way. It's the closest piece of land, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Oh, that lady's carrying her groceries all the way home. Somebody should go help her. I would, but I have freight to deliver. What are you doing walking in the road? There's a sidewalk there, man, on the other side, but okay. All right, so we just finished our last drop now in uh, Mount Pearl, which I believe is a suburb of St. John's. It's cold outside, it's almost freezing. Uh, these guys here were talking to me about it. Apparently, it's because the icebergs are floating past right now from the Arctic. Uh, along the east coast of Newfoundland, there's a south current that comes up from the north, or down from the north, around Newfoundland and down the east side of North America. And right now it's carrying a ton of icebergs from the north. And apparently that's having an effect on the temperature of the shoreline here. And it's really cooling temperatures down. Isn't that interesting how that works? Just a bunch of ice cubes floating in the ocean, making it so cold out here. They say usually it's about 20 degrees Celsius or like uh, 70 Fahrenheit at this time of year. But apparently because the winter was so cold, we had such a cold winter. There's just that many more icebergs that are coming past you right now and it's cooling down the temperature even more. So it's about freezing point here right now. About zero or, you know, 35 Fahrenheit, somewhere in there. It's cold. Anyways, my trailer's all cleaned up. We're all ready to rock. We're gonna zip back to the ferry, wait in line, get on the ferry, eight hour ferry ride back to the mainland, and then we're going to Moncton, New Brunswick for a reload. We don't know exactly what we're reloading yet, but dispatch just told me, hey, Head back to Moncton, we'll talk to you later. All right then. So we're not getting reloaded till Monday anyways, so 
what is it, Friday the 13th. It's Friday the 13th today, guys. For you, it's Friday the 20th, I know, but today when I'm filming this, Friday the 13th. All right. 650 meters, then turn left onto TCH, west. TCH, all right. St. John's. I was really hoping to be able to see the icebergs and show you the icebergs, but my route is just not taking me past there. In 550 meters, turn left onto TCH. Mandy, you just told me west. that, Mandy. I heard you. Yeah, I was hoping to be able to go there. And you know, I am a paid tourist, but I do have to stick to the route. I can't just go tour whenever I want. So I should probably do have time to go see it, but. I don't know the area and I don't want to get my truck stuck in a tight spot either. And I know the, the shoreline is right where downtown is, right? So. Hey, Timmy's. Timmy's. If I was bobtailing, yeah, I'd go and check out the icebergs. Kind of sad, I wanted to see the icebergs, but oh well, it's part of the job. You can't do everything you want to do. You can't go and see everything you want to see. Still got to do your job. But just the fact that I'm here in St. John's, Newfoundland, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I posted Turn a picture on my Facebook. TCH, West. Mandy. On my Facebook and Twitter saying uh, or showing where I am. I'm on the eastern tip of uh, Newfoundland. I'm actually approximately halfway between London, England and uh, British Columbia, Canada. So if there was a bridge going that way, I, I, it would take just as much time, if not shorter, just to go straight over there, but I think I said that yesterday too. I haven't mastered walking on water yet. Look at the landscape here, guys, eh? We're just west of St. John's, Newfoundland, and it's just flat, no trees and rocks just randomly laying everywhere. You see that? Very rocky land. That's probably why they call this place The Rock. lakes over there, little puddles or something. I wonder if there's fish in there. So many rocks everywhere. Yeah, there's not much you can do with this land. Uh, yeah, we're leaving St. John's. This is the east side, obviously, of Newfoundland. I find it very interesting. like pictures that I've seen of Northwest Territories, like way up northern Canada. We are pretty far north, I guess. What are you doing parked on the side of the shoulder? What are you doing there? Do you not know that it is illegal to stop on a controlled access highway for any reason but an emergency? <laughs> I'm sure it was an emergency. Looks like there's no one in the car. Probably broke down. Don't really have much choice then, you gotta leave it there. Walking a weasel. We're walking a whoa. Guess we're not going in there. Actually, you know what, Diesel, you up for an adventure? I'm up for a little bit of an adventure, not that much of an adventure. We're gonna go over here though. Look at all the garbage in there. Why is there always so much garbage at the truck store? Where do you want to go, Daisy? Where do you want to go? You want to go over there? You want to go over there? I see some green stuff over there, man. If we go over there, will you jump over the water or will you go right into the water? I have a feeling you're going to go right into the water. Okay, Daisy, we got to go over the water. Over the water. Not in the water. Over the water. Oh, good boy. Oh, you went right into that water, though. Oh, yeah. Come on, let's go over here. Over the water, man. Good boy. Still stepped right in it. Okay. What is all this? A mess. No, Diesel, don't go there yet. Well, I was thinking he was gonna wait until we actually get to the green stuff over there, but, oh, I see, we can't go into green stuff because that's all swamp. Look at this. <laughs> that's all swamp. This was Florida. We might be looking for gators in here. Thank God there's no gators this far north. I don't like gators. Them in their teeth. What do you want to do, Diesel? He's just having a ball. Look at this, man. Look at all the mud. Going on an adventure into the bush. Because up here, we know that there's nothing in here that are, that's going to eat me or sting me and make me die. At least we're pretty sure. 
I don't think anything's gonna make me die. Diesel, that is your tree. You got it, man. Why'd you pick a dead one, man? Don't you want a live tree? I would have picked a live tree myself. Unless you want firewood, I guess. Maybe he wants firewood. Let's go see what's in here. Come on, man. You're getting so tangled up. He hasn't quite got the concept of follow the leash. He's more like, I'm gonna go my way around the tree and I'm gonna get tangled up. That diesel. Look at all this. Let's go further. Let's go. This is what I like to do. I like to explore. Like a caveman. Oh, diesel, you can't walk through the tree. Come on, go. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on. Oh, he gets the leash tangled up right away. You're supposed to follow the leash, man. Follow the leash. That sticky stick that poke at me, man. <laughs> oh, Diesel's not used to being in the bush. Look, there's a big clearing out there, a meadow. Be awesome if we saw a moose just walk up to us here. How's it going, guys? Uh, I'm a moose. You like to see a moose, Diesel? Get your face out of there. I don't know what that is. But yeah, anyways, this is our adventure. I'm gonna hang out in the bush for a bit and get tangled up in all the branches and the trees and then we're gonna keep going. We are just outside of Newfoundland, uh, St. John's. We're a little west. The same place we stayed the night yesterday and there's a Timmy's here. And that's why I stopped here. So I need my Timmy's. It'll actually be Timmy's number two for today already and it's not even noon. Oops. Oh well. Oh, Diesel's doing his pace. He's about, he's about to drop a present from Mother Nature. Come on, Diesel. Good boy. Yeah, all right, there we go. Good boy. That's why we come out into the middle of the bush. Cause that's where it belongs. Fertilize nature. It's a natural process. Organic. Newfoundland, you sure know how to make a good impression. Look at this scenery. Whoa! Bumpy bridges, but look at that scenery. Look at that. I want to build a house right at the top of the highest point of that hill. Right up there. Actually, you know what? Let's go like all celebrity and all like super rich person and build it right on the side of the mountain. Yeah, just hanging over there. You know. You know those like celebrities who have their houses like on a cliff? Looks like it's about to fall off. Looks like a spaceship landed on the side of the mountain. <laughs> yeah, let's get one of those. Right there. Yeah. <laughs> maybe one day maybe one day when we have 500 million subscribers <laughs> maybe man if we had 500 million subscribers whoo, can you imagine that many people diesel Get the house, I'll buy a spaceship. Almost time for a bug break to wipe all the bugs off. In the meantime, we're still enjoying Newfoundland. Still six hours from the ferry. It was a long drive across the island, and a long wait. If you come to Newfoundland, you can expect a lot of sitting, a lot of wait time, waiting for the ferry and waiting on the ferry. But it's all worth it because it's a beautiful place to come see, right? In wintertime, it's not as nice here. But summertime like this, this is beautiful. Absolutely, it's like just east of nowhere. So it's nature at its finest. Perfect. And that is a little rocket in front of us out there in the distance. About a quarter mile in front of me. I know it's hard to see a distance with the GoPro, but that is a Suzuki GSX R, I believe, 1000. A yellow one, a yellow and black. And he's a good, respectful driver. He's not speeding with it, he's not flying down the highway, he's just enjoying the bike. Always walking the weasel, walking the weasel. Him and his little bandana. Mm hmm. Because he's a manly man. I guess. <laughs> You want that rock right there, man? You want that rock? That's a nice rock. You want that? Oh, he wants that rock. It's his rock. You want it, you take it. Good life lesson. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. 
Don't actually do that. If you want it, you have to earn it. Nothing is free in this world, right, Diesel? Nothing is free except for you. Everything's free for you. Anyone? No, no, that pole was not good enough. You see him? Turn down, man. Shut down. Shut that pole down, man. What are you doing, man? You're spreading dandelion seeds everywhere. Walks right through them all. Every single one of them. There they go. <laughs> Loves it. I love grass. I love grass. Could you easily got anything more left in the tank or what? Can we go? I'm hungry. I want to go eat and then head to the ferry. We're in Deer Lake, Newfoundland on our way back to the ferry. And... Oh, what's up, Diesel? He's like freaking out. He's like very skittish right now. <laughs> that blade of grass yeah so we're about three hours two and a half three hours from the ferry and we're probably gonna load tomorrow afternoon that's what I'm thinking we're here at Deer Lake at the the Irving the Irving where we bought some clean diesel that's what it says in the tanks Irving clean diesel as opposed to dirty polluting diesel I guess and we're gonna go inside get something to eat I'm starving stay out of the mud diesel why are you going in the mud no 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 mud for you so yeah, we should be at the ferry. Maybe before the sun even goes down. That'd be all right, and we'll get a good night there. That's why I wanna get something to eat here. And uh, maybe pack something along to eat overnight there. If they got movies in here, I'm gonna buy a couple movies so I have something to do while I wait for the boat, and while I'm on the boat. Can be a good time, can be a good time. Right, Diesel? Don't eat the dandelions, man. Jeez. He really loves the earth, he really does. He fertilizes it, he eats it, he rubs his face in it, he rolls around in it. <laughs> it's so skittish right now. Ah. I would let you loose, man, but I know you'd go straight for those people over there. I know you. I know you. So you guys, when I do let him loose, some of you might be wondering, why does he let him loose? What if he runs away? What if he attacks someone? I know my dog. Diesel's been with me every single day since he was 10 weeks old. Almost every single day. I know him better than he knows himself, and I would never let him off leash when I know he would cause trouble. I want to see if he'll do this. Diesel, get on the rock. On the rock. Come on. Up, 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 up. Up, 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 up. Oh, ah! <laughs> Almost tried again, bud. Come on. Go around. Get up here. Oh, good boy. Oh, he just jumps right over it. One more time, bud. Get on the rock. Get on the rock, man. Stay. 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 Sit. Stay. <laughs> Good boy, look at him like a boss. Look at him like a boss, sitting on a rock. <laughs> Good boy. Okay, let's go back to the truck. Well, the scenery is kicking up a notch here, so that must mean we're close to Cornerbrook, Newfoundland. So I'm going to speed her on up here and uh, let you guys enjoy. I'm enjoying it, so you might as well too.